This is Minecraft. Look, okay, you see in this? I lied! This isn't Minecraft. This is AI generated Minecraft. I recently made a video on OpenAI's Sora. In short, it's their video AI, essentially chat GPT powered all their tools into video. It's the next step for video AI. And it's it's wild. It's everything I've seen is mind blowing. Video AI isn't new, but it's never looked this good. It'll probably be a while before we can even play with this stuff. But since I made that video, the OpenAI team have been like tweeting out their own little experiments. And some of the stuff is just so wild. So Tim Brooks, who tweeted out that Minecraft video, blended it with a video of a motorcycle. So it starts the same and then this motorcycle pops. Oh, look, you can see the person's face reflected in the mirrors. That's very cursed. But look, suddenly <laughs> suddenly we, you know, we we go down this, this road. That's unbelievable. I, I'm genuinely very impressed by that. Like it's AI has always been very good at imagining things that humans couldn't even come up with. It's a weird thing to say, but I genuinely believe that these fever dreams that AI creates are just unparalleled. They're so cursed. And it's funny thinking back to when we first started seeing seeing AI generated imagery. If you guys remember Deep Dream and it turned everything into dogs. No one was like excited about it. I mean, it was it, it, interesting and weird, but it, any circle it saw was a dog's eyeball. It was just dogs. It's weird. Another Minecraft thing. Jim here makes a point of saying you can't help resist the urge to make the sky look less pixelated. And that's a funny thing to notice. I mean, that obviously isn't normal. You know, it's running backwards. It doesn't understand that. Almost everything about this is perfect. Like, look at this. The hand hitting. Obviously the animals are weird and the sky is too good, but like it is eerily good. And if you look back through my videos, you'll see I've done quite a bit of gaming stuff, specifically like showing screenshots of games that don't exist or games that do exist. And I've also tried video AI on a game. As an example of what this used to look like, I'm going on gen two right now, which is my favorite AI video creator, Minecraft gameplay. You know, it's not the same. It clearly gets the gist of it, but yeah, it's not, that's not it. Compared to what we just saw, that it frames of it you could say is real, you know? It would fool me. Like the HUD doesn't wiggle or anything. Here's another one I did. Yeah, see, it's like, oh yeah, you know, blockiness, but it doesn't understand that it's first person. And it's about the consistency that Sora can do, but also really understanding it with language. Here's a video that like all of the OpenAI team have been sharing around. People holding hands, walking through a snowy landscape. City. It's just like the, the camera pan and stuff is what's really cool to me. Like the, the fact that, you know, it comes in, it's on, it's on a crane. Seeing this right now, I'm immediately realizing that movies and the like aren't immediately going to be all AI. But say someone's in the editing room, filming's wrapped, and they realize that there's a shot they need. A simple shot like this. They could fill that in. They don't have to go back to location. Another interesting one that they did is this, this flower tiger that just puffs into a flower tornado. Oh, now it's a baby tiger. I actually had never finished this video until now. That's, wait, was it a baby? Oh no, it was always a baby tiger. Rendering something like this out would be insane. But with AI, you just, you make it so. Oh man, crazy. I really enjoyed this next one. Oh look, they're having such a good day. They're, oh, look out. Look out, he's so happy. Hi. <laughs> Ah, this is my favorite video of all time. It's funny, if you look around, they're just a, a small little things that are either interesting or weird that I didn't even notice until now. For instance, his drink has a lime like on the straw. Kind of weird. You get the lemons on the sand down there. A lot of people probably wouldn't notice this, but watch his hand. Or is it a foot? It's a hand. That towel hand foot situation over there. Woo! Where'd that come from? It's kind of horrifying. Look at that thing. Ah, I don't like it. <laughs> oh no. This woman is totally unfazed by this. It's very set up feeling, you know? Like she's like, ah. Nighttime footage of a hermit crab using an incandescent light bulb as its shell. This is really good. I think this is such a perfect example of this tool. Like it's such a weird thing. Even how the light bulb glows when it's walking. It walks a little stiff, but the waves coming in, like look at that. The ones that are the most exciting to me, I feel like a lot of people won't pick up on. Everyone's all over the Minecraft one, right? Like. Rightfully so. I'm excited what I'm gonna make with it. A giant duck walks through the streets in Boston. He walking. I'm almost unimpressed with this one, only because the others are so amazing. Here's where things get very interesting to me. Look, the, like, the fact that it added all these frames, the text, positive, delicious, crack deviously. Really interesting. Oh, hand. This dog in the middle though, oddly human, kind of freaks me out. Cinematic trailer for a group of adventurous puppies exploring ruins in the sky. That's the first time anybody's ever said that sentence. Oh, look how adventurous these puppies are. Oh, they're so cute. All right, so there's six of them. Take note of that. Now there's four. No! 
The implication is that two puppies are up in puppy heaven, unless they were bad dogs. Also, this paw print here, that was five, uh, five toe beans. That ain't right. AI. <laughs> We'll never take over humans. This part is what makes Sora very unique, and it really blows my mind. Again, I think of how I'm going to use this to make funny content. Sora can also generate stories involving a sequence of events. And they admit it's far from perfect, but you're about to see. He says, I asked that a golden retriever and Samoid should walk through NYC, then a taxi should stop to let the dogs pass a crosswalk. Then they should walk past a pretzel and hot dog stand. And finally, they should end up looking at Broadway signs. It's a lot of steps. Let's see if it did it. Okay, so they're walking. I love the left one's floppy feet. Actually, both of them have pretty funny feet. They're going through. Oh, we got big snowflakes. Yeah. Oh, that car, that almost hit them. That T4T taxi almost got them. Okay, here they go. Oh, they got to the hot dog stand. And then they look at billboards of dogs. The Lovg. Leave love. A giant cathedral is completely filled with cats. There are cats everywhere you look. A man enters the cathedral and bows before the giant cat king sitting on a throne. He's come to offer milk to the felines. These cats are living the life. Actually, it's probably pretty cold on that ground. Holy bejesus. Look at the size of that lad. I'm in awe at the size of that lad. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Oh, ah. Oh no, oh! Yo, extend that though. I wanna know what happens next. That's horrifying, but I really liked it. A white and orange tabby alley cat is seen darting across a back street alley in a heavy rain, looking for shelter. Like this is just really good. Like it really gets the wet mangy cat. And in this one especially, I'm really trying to see things wrong. Reflection. I found the, the, the tail. The tail is the tail. It's a tell tail tail. The tail grows and shrinks. Feet are a little weird too, but like that was the big one. I got it. I got the tail 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 tail. Woo! A green blob and an <coughs> a green blob and an orange blob are in love and dancing together. This is my kind of content right here. Oh, that's fun. Look at them. This is where I want a sequence of events where all this happens and then a foot editor animate a bad looking foot coming in and crushing them. Don't don't even need to overthink it. See, just as good as AI. A photorealistic video of a butterfly that can swim navigating underwater through a beautiful coral reef. Underwater butterfly. Or is it a waterfly? Oh yeah, so it's dipping in and out of the water. That's kind of cool showing underwater and overwater. Look at this. Wow. Okay, it's moving. It's like stuck in a tide. I just want all of these to be sequences of events, right? Like I want I want a shark to eat it. POV footage of an ant navigating the inside of an ant nest. Wow, yeah. Like that's really cool. There's a funny joke going around on Twitter when this was posted that ants have six legs. And it brought up just a big discussion, right? Like if you didn't know that ants had six legs, pretty good, you know? I don't know if this will even fool you. And it's only gonna get better. Like, I mean, I can't believe how many people in any facet of anything when talking about AI are like, yeah, but it will never. Yes, it will. <laughs> Anything, everything. That's the thing. I have accepted it. I'm at peace. Macro shot of a leaf showing tiny trains moving through its veins. I like that it understood through, right? It's going up and over and yeah, that's really good. A walking figure made out of water tours an art gallery with many beautiful works of art in different styles. Sora has object permanence. The paintings stay consistent before and after the water man walks in front. Pay attention to that. That is something that is different about this. It knows what they were even as he passes they stay the same? Is that true? Oh, it is. I like this a photo of a water man and water. Do they stay the exact same though? You'd think there'd be minor shifts in details. No, it really looks like they stay the same. Oh, that one actually starts moving though. Ha! AI. That's crazy. All right, we're moving into vertical video territory. This close-up shot of a futuristic cybernetic German shepherd showcases its striking brown and black fur. Ooh, I like how his eyeball turns on. Ooh. Oh, he blinks and it changes. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, that's cool. Through all this, I'm not even commenting on the length of these, right? This one's 19 seconds. OpenAI also has a TikTok account that they've been posting these on. Somebody asked for Sora, which means sky in Japanese. And so, you know, gave him a, a cloud with Sora in it. Leaning tower of pizza. Wow. Yeah, look. Well, A, those are very large pizzas. But wow. You'd think it would make the leaning tower of pizza, pizza of pizza turn into pizza. But no, it kind of got it. How about a monkey playing chess at a park? Yeah, you go little buddy. I wouldn't take him on. He'd throw stuff at you and like rip your arms off. And finally here they show us a comparison of input video. Cause you can feed in images and video and turn them into something else. In this case, change the setting to the 1920s. Oh, it changes every time. I didn't finish speaking. You know, you got a car driving and then it's changed the setting to be in a lush jungle. It really works. Change the setting to the 1920s. That's so cool. Make it go underwater. Oh God. If you guys saw our movie that, you know, the film festival award winning 2026 film, we use tech like this. Not this good. Oh my God. We are going to make cool stuff. Cause I love the blend. I love the blend of traditional and AI. It makes for really neat stuff. I love perhaps Joshua tree. He's like, maybe do this, you know? Rainbow road. Oh, it boosted. <laughs> it's so cool. Claymation. Oh wow. It's almost Lego. Charcoal drawing. Hey worst of the bunch. Cyberpunk. Oh, 
This is so fun. The medieval theme. Dinosaurs. Oh my god. It's just driving through dinosaurs. Make the car a dinosaur is what I'd say next. Pixel art style. Oh wow. Oh god. We're gonna make such cool stuff with this. Yeah, so there you go. I just wanted to show you guys these in case you never saw them. They have a lot more too. Like these aren't all of them. Otherwise this video would be two hours long. I always see people asking, oh, where can we use Sora? Where is this? Well, you can't yet. They'll probably first roll it out to paying OpenAI customers. Just for giggles, I'm gonna throw a guess out there. And if it's before this date, I'm obviously gonna be very happy. I'm gonna be optimistic and say this year, some limited version or something some people can get their hands on. Let's say November 4th. 2024. Again, if it's before that, great. Sweet. But we'll see. I feel like we got time. Have you liked and subscribed yet? I'd like to remind y'all that I love making these long form videos, right? It's something that I would wah, 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 wah. I want to do more of, but obviously they don't get as many views and the like as uh, as shorts, because shorts is kind of what built my channel. So obviously notifications on and stuff, but like seriously the watching these and commenting and supporting means a lot. Thank you very much. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, what you'd like to use this for, what you want to see with it. Like just talk with me. I'm going to be definitely talking to everybody in comments about this because I just want to, I want to hear people's thoughts because it's simultaneously unbelievable and But I have no fear for I am here for the fun. Here's a mini skateboard. <laughs> yeah. What a time to be alive. I